All right, we have quite an interesting discourse this morning because even before we came, we've already, we already started it on modern parenting versus traditional parenting, as it were. And our guest is Femi Shufolue. It is great to have you. Thank, Thank you for having me this morning. All right, great. Now let's get straight into it. What, what would you describe as traditional parenting and what would you describe as modern parenting? Traditional parenting basically can be said to be the way Nigerian we typically raise a child, or an African, we typically raise a child. Mm. And uh, modern parenting is like a borrowed Western culture mm. or style of parenting. Mm. Exactly. And these two, they are like two parallel lines that mm. cannot meet. However, uh, because of the dynamics of the world we live in today, you can be growing in Nigeria and uh, being prepared for another country entirely. And in that case, if you are not well groomed with global mindset, you can be well parented traditionally and become a liability in the Western world. Very true. So is there anything, is there an in-between? So can we say global parenting or globally accepted parenting? Is there anything like that, an uh, in-between where, you know? I think we, we should go with the in-between because uh, when, once we say global, then we, we really can't, you know, merge these two fully. Mm. Uh, the, what is acceptable in some culture is totally unacceptable in another culture. Standing upright, looking at elderly person in the high and mm. telling them situation the way they are. In Western culture, is actually the, it depicts boldness, it depicts truthfulness. But in our own culture, you know, we don't need to, be, to begin oh, to say that. Oh, you call them by their first name. You will not dare that. Ah, she's almost calling the first name, Bill. <laughs> You will not dear that Colony in our Western culture. Even the president currently will not accept it from you. Uh -uh. He will tell you, are you there when they will name me? <laughs> <laughs> but then, you know. Imagine, as in you just see somebody say, Joe. Uh -uh. Joe. And he will gladly respond. And he will respond. However, but they don't burn you where yeah. you You will not try Local that. Local government counselor. However, <laughs> if you get over there and then you begin to you know, do all this, it's so, not just... So now the issue is that even over there now, so it, there, there has to be some form of adaptation or learning for one to travel because uh, because really there might never be a globally accepted way. It's all Standard. about adapting. How does one tra it's traverse the to all... Yeah. Yes, the blending, the blending. Of all that. How does uh, that uh, come in? Let, let, me, let, me, let me come up with this uh, example. There is a young girl I know who happened to be one of my students Right here in Nigeria, within the corner of her room, she, she, she applied for a job in UK in an American company, and she got it. She's just in year two university. She has not even graduated yet. A remote she job? Got, no, she traveled. She has relocated, as I talked wow. to you. Year two, she has not finished. I'm not even sure she has ever traveled out of Nigeria. But the way her parent parented her, she was ready for global stage. Uh -huh. Are you with me? She, so, was, she was traditionally parented right here within the confines of Nigeria, but she was globally ready. Hmm. I, heard she, I heard that she did over seven hours interview at a stretch online, and she scaled through, preferred above every other. So you, you can parent your children right here in Nigeria, give them Nigerian culture, Nigerian values, and the, at the same time, they are globally relevant. I like that. Let's, let's, let's get to some instances now. How, how does one practically do that okay i have a friend in uk currently who is the most preferred in in his company and the reason is because they, they keep saying you are respectful you are respectful that means the people we call westerners they know respect when they see one it's just that it is lacking it. in their culture so if we have it in our culture and we can export it by inputting in our children and letting them know that this is a global Relevant, I mean, thing that will make you relevant anywhere you go, and they practice wherever they go, they will be preferred among other people that they have. I mean, they have to choose from. I also know a guy in Australia who played for uh, Australian national basketball team. Mm. At the age of 19, he bought his first home. I mean, when you're playing for a national team, you are in money, but this boy still prostrate to greet everybody. There was a time I had that the parent was telling me that. Uh, one of their friends said, the boy behaved too local. He, they don't like the way he prostrate to Greek. And the mother said, he told the friend. Is he Yoruba? Even, uh, uh, yeah, they are from, they are Yoruba culture. But the other people, I think they are Chinese. They all met in Australia. I said, uh, but I don't the like, Chinese also, they also Yeah, they friends. have their own, but you were like, they this, too, friends, this so is too the Asian. local. I don't like it. And the mother said, you see, if you don't like it, I will tell my son not to greet you again, but he will not stop greeting that way. 
Mm. That is the way he was brought up. No matter where he get to in life, that is the way he greets those who are ahead you of know, him. For me, the number one thing about the Yoruba culture, which is, like you said, which is exportable, is the ability, look, once, the person might not even respect you in his heart, though, but, but outside, that outward he will posture, uh, it, it, he, it, will, it, you know, he might everybody. not in his heart, he might want to do anything, to, but he will show that respect. Very that right. is what I love. So uh, we just have a very short time. So to a kid that you're grooming up and you're teaching respect and all of those kind of values, like you said, that girl was prepared for what you could get globally. What kind of things do you teach them so that they can also uh, one. Be, be, uh, yeah. they can also be valuable in a, in a global society, they can be relevant in a global society? In our culture, society. I don't think there's anything like emo emotional intelligence. Okay. I don't think so. So we start teaching it's, them emotional it's actually, intelligence. It's actually something we borrow. We don't know that. I mean, the only way to discipline a child is to shout them down. Okay. If you don't cop them now, you know, they, they will grow wing in code and everything. But then you are destroying their emotional intelligence. You are destroying their self-confidence. You are destroying their ability to reason critically. You know, we'll get thing. to know all this later you on. You know, people say there's a thin line between uh, arrogance and self-confidence. That thin so line is what we need to get. Because in the Western culture, what they call self-confidence we term arrogance here. But we need to actually know where the line is How and let our them. children. You see, you, tell your, you teach your children to communicate their mind, mm. let their truth be known mm. respectfully. That is where the balance comes in. Uh, yeah. You have to be respectful in your communication. Then as parents, we ourselves, we actually need to be educated. We need to be aware. All these things we didn't know before, but now they are available there. Go out and learn how to raise your children with global mindset and why they are still, you know, being practically raised I mean, with traditional uh, I wish method. we had more time, but I am, this is something that I will say is a resource material. People can go back to listen to this because you have actually dropped some gems here. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, You're going moment. to be, of course, with us across the month, so there are more gems that you'll be dropping and we'll get to learn from that. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.